wonder what it is that we can do to reflect the, uh, the, the values of society and to become relevant as a land management agency in the 21st century. And I'm concerned that this could turn into something about quotas. I'm passionate about cultural transformation. What's all the fuss about? How are we going to know that this is going to be a success? Haven't we tried this before? There's so much to all of this, so start from the beginning. What does cultural transformation really mean? Good question. The answer, a lot. Hi, I'm Chris, and we're going to take a few moments to share with you some of the facts, intentions, and philosophies that make up the core of the cultural transformation that's taking place in the Forest Service. We're going to discuss what it is, why it is, how it works, and why we need it to work in order for us to thrive. In order for this to really work, we knew we needed to listen, to hear and understand what people are thinking and feeling. We decided to present the most pressing questions and offer our answers. Which leads us back to the first question. What is cultural transformation? It means renewing the culture of the agency. Why? So that all employees and customers are treated with dignity and respect and provide an equal opportunity for success. To be more precise, CT aims to transform the environment we work in through six avenues, leadership development, employee development, talent management, recruitment and retention, customer focus and community outreach, and process improvement. This sounds huge. What are we aiming for with this? You know, what's the goal? In a word, the goal is inclusion. But it's more than that. Our aim is an inclusive, high-performance organization, a work environment that affords dignity and respect to all, employees who feel valued and who more accurately reflect our national demographic. We're a diverse country, and our agency needs to be diverse as well. How do you measure it? Cultural transformation seems hard to quantify. How will we know when we get there? Right. And what are we really trying to accomplish with this? Honestly, we want to improve our organization's culture. And we know it's not a single event with a finish line. This is a journey, a continuous process of self and organizational learning that will help get us what we're really after, to best serve the American public in the 21st century. Bottom line is, cultural transformation will be as successful as we're willing to make it. You'll know we're getting there when we see continuously improving best place to work scores and employees who accurately reflect the demographics of our country. But the big question on everyone's mind is this. What's, What's in it, it for, for me? me? Great question. What you stand to gain is respect, value, pride. Cultural transformation is intended to help everyone feel more valued, heard, and respected. You'll work in a more innovative, open, and diverse environment. You'll gain an increased sense of pride in working in an organization that has changed appropriately to include diverse perspectives and people and is relevant in the future. We also believe that this change will create even better leaders that you respect and seek to emulate. Why now? Haven't we tried all this before? Exactly. We've heard this all before. Why do you think it'll work this time? Hmm. Important question. It seems like we've lost traction in this area in the past. But let me put this to you. What do you think will help us succeed this time? What do you think gets in our way? For you newer employees, what do you see as the strengths of the agency that will serve us on this journey? What have you seen in the places you've worked that we could incorporate in our plans. As a member of the National Leadership Council, I can say that we want to hear from you. Again, any kind of cultural change can only be as successful as folks want it to be and are willing to make it. So we need to increase our awareness of what's going on around us and make a commitment to positively change what needs to change. 
Enhancing our work environment to a place where everyone feels included, valued, and respected is the first priority. We will be at our most effective and equipped to handle the many challenges that come to us when we all feel fully engaged. We want to be a learning organization that involves employees to explore ways to stay vital and inviting in a rapidly changing environment. We see the destination clearly and know we can get there if we all work together. Reaching the destination is imperative in our desire to best serve the American public. We must strive to remain relevant in the eyes of our customers, constituents, partners, and stakeholders. Cultural transformation will help us better reflect our customers' wants, needs, and desires. This rock work looks good. Yeah. You know, it is a manufacturer. All right. So how does the diversity piece work? For example, how do we find and attract diverse candidates? Yeah, and factor in things like local demographics. We intend to dramatically increase our outreach programs so that we have a more diverse pool of applicants. One way to achieve this is with employees and supervisors' help. Be proactive. For instance, every community has outgroups. Make the effort to reach out to the underrepresented groups already in your area. Once we get them, what's going to make them stay? A good environment, a renewed culture created and maintained by all of us will go far in retaining employees. This is why leadership and employee development is a large part of cultural transformation. Training will be available for all employees since we all contribute to local and agency culture. Brother, this sounds like affirmative action or reverse discrimination, right? Is this about quotas or selecting non-white people over whites for promotions or positions? We've heard this concern a lot, and so we want to be clear here. We're not excluding anyone in promotion opportunities. What we want to do is broaden the qualified applicant pool to include more applicant groups and be more purposeful in our outreach efforts to gain a larger, wider, deeper pool of applicants. And from that, choose the best person. Hey, discrimination is discrimination, and we take allegations of any form of discrimination seriously. I feel like we're losing our identity here, you know? The deep traditional culture of the agency. With any change, there's always a sense of loss whether that loss is real or perceived. You may be concerned about the loss of a family-like environment, the ease with which we agree on decisions, or the ability to hire in our own image. And with this evolution, we will lose some things. Mostly what we'll lose is the comfort of the past. For example, we'll lose some control over hiring decisions, and we'll lose speed and simplicity in hiring, at least in the short term. Initially, we'll lose some competency in the new processes. We'll also lose exclusivity around hiring and promotions. Too often, we've overlooked excellent applicants or failed to conduct a broad outreach because of our lack of inclusiveness. Our cultural past served us well, but now it's time to evolve, to move toward a culture of collaborative leadership, to broaden thought and life experiences, to promote based on leadership as well as technical skills and afford every employee a high level of respect and dignity. How can I be successful in this new culture? Presently, the Center for Learning is producing a suite of training modules and tools to assist us. These tools will help us achieve our goal of becoming more inclusive, improving our communication among all of us so all of us feel more valued. In the National Leadership Council, the agency's senior leaders, including the executive leadership team, the regional foresters, station directors, and area director, has created the National Outreach and Recruitment Team, which can assist you in reaching out to and encouraging a wider, more diverse applicant pool. Your human resources and civil rights liaisons can also help you reach out to affinity groups, professional societies, and other sources to attract a wider range of job candidates. 
And at any time, you can go to USDA.gov, click on blog, and then search for cultural transformation. Or go to dm.usda.gov and click on cultural transformation. We don't have all the answers, and we will be making some course adjustments along the way as needed. The executive leadership team is working with a contractor to do some significant agency-wide sensing to inform our way. Transforming culture is a decades-long proposition. We will focus on short-term milestones to get us moving in the right direction and help us monitor our progress. It's exciting to be a part of creating a more inclusive forest service, a place where everyone is treated with respect and dignity, and where the diversity of this country is reflected in our employees. Change happens in a moment. The decision is made to focus on a renewed culture, but that change point is followed by a long journey of transition. I look forward to times when it becomes apparent that we have turned toward a more inclusive environment. When we serve a public that appreciates an employee base accurately reflecting the diversity of this country. Do most of us like change? Rarely. Even those who promote it often find it difficult. Yet we serve a growing and changing nation and we need, we want, to grow and change with it. It requires patience, dedication, and real participation. This is a transition, a journey that will come with losses real and perceived. It is also a process that will reward us with profound gains and a foundation that will ensure a brighter future. Changing how we work together is our first priority.